Imagine you are working in a company that needs to expand beyond the original plans of a commercial building, which workstations are often placed in a location that might be beyond the reach of the UTP copper cable since there is a limitation on the copper cabling as it cannot support a distance long enough to connect these devices to the network, we are faced with a choice that we can run a fiber optic cable back to our main equipment and either use a switch with a fiber optic uplink or use a media converter. Media converter is used to enable connections of copper-based Ethernet equipment to optical fiber cables such as multi-mode, single mode, or a single strand fiber. The benefits extending Ethernet links over a great distances, it protects data from noise and interference, and future-proofing of a network with additional bandwidth capacity. Remember that copper-based Ethernet connections are limited to a data transmission of a distance of only 100 meters when converted to fit is 328 when using a UTP cable. By using an Ethernet to a fiber conversion solution, fiber optic cabling can be used to extend this link over a great distance. An Ethernet to a fiber converter can also be used where there is a high level of EMI or electromagnetic interference, which is common phenomenon found in industrial plants. So this interference can cause corruption of data over a copper-based Ethernet links. The data transmitted over fiber optic cable is immune to EMI noise, ensuring optical data transmission. If you require connectivity from your branch site like site A, site B, site C, that you need them to be connected within the same network and you don't need a router for this one, what I suggest is you get a service from a, an ISP, get L2BPN, EVPL, or Metri. So what will happen is that on your site A, you would have a MediaCon, and then on the site B, site C, you also have a MediaCon on that site. Then basically, the fiber connection in between would be under the ISP. Then you would just plug in the fiber connection in between of those media converters. Now we take a look with this media converter LC Multimode that is compatible with SAP module that are used to easily connect fiber cabling to different types of devices, cables, or networks. While linking copper to fiber is the most common application, SAP media converters all used to link single mode or multi-mode or extend multi-mode network data transmission distance. Now we have this SC multi-mode that is equipped with fiber optic connector ports, one for transmitting and the other one is for receiving and one RJ45 jack and one external power supply. And this is the comparison between the two. So it has a six LED indicators that are built for easy diagnosing and monitoring of the status of the power. Now, uh, if we move it over to the other side, you will see this 10, 100, and 1000. And this is a ethernet standard developed by IEEE can support 10, 100, and 1000 megabits. Next to the topic would be types of fiber cable. I have here a LC and SC fiber cable and this would be the LC fiber cable. So basically this is used for our media converters. You will see the term LC and SC but what really differs between the two. So this one is a latch type so we're gonna zoom in okay this would be the latch style locking system and then this would be the lc so lock system the push and pull now we'll try to plug into our media converter so we'll just push it make sure that the fiber is properly secured Okay, that's it. Okay, we're having a hard time removing it. Now we'll move to the latch type. This one is much easier that you will plug into the SFP. You will definitely hear a latch uh, locking system. This is much easier to pull out. So it's pretty uh, simple and easy to use. You see here, it's pretty much 
straightforward. Now this one we'll try to remove the lock system. I see you're having a hard time, but that's it. That's pretty straightforward. What we have here is the two media converters. We'll do a demonstration on how to connect these two media converters using these two fiber cables. This fiber cable is a LC to SC fiber connection. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, I put an indicator here that this should be the TX. I'll connect this one according to with the TX indicator. Now, the other side of this cable should be on latch time. Then I'll co connect it to the receiver. You see, it uses the TX and the other side should be the receiving one. Same as this one as well. So this should be the RX. And you guessed correctly, it should, the other one should be the TX. Now we'll just power on these devices at both ends. Now we'll connect it to our router. This is the one connection f going towards the modem. And this is the LAN one of our router. Basically, it is connected to our fiber. Oh no, it's a media converter to the RJ45. Okay, plug in. So the connection would be from this media converter. It's connected to the LAN one of the router so it will get the IP from the router itself this would be the other end of the video converter so this is the RG45 that will be connected from the media converter going to our laptop okay basically what we're trying to get here is we will get the IP address from the router itself on the other side going to this media converter see the connection is already up now we'll just refresh that's it it's working okay make sure everything is connected properly especially with the tx and rx now we'll try with the speed test Okay, going back to the topic, make sure the TX and RX are connected properly because if not, it will not definitely work. Hope you enjoy our video. Thanks for watching.